For 11 years, acclaimed London theatre The Old Vic was able to proudly boast it had an Oscar-winning actor on its staff. Today, it has had to publicly say sorry for the behaviour of its former artistic director and the way they allowed him to operate without sufficient accountability. The Old Vic apologises wholeheartedly to the people who have told us they've been affected. We've learned that it's not enough to have the right process in place. Everyone needs to feel that they can speak out, no matter who they are. An external law firm which conducted the investigation for the Old Vic received 20 individual allegations, all by men aged 18 and over. All said they felt unable to raise concerns after the alleged incidents. In one case, Spacey was reported to management, but not formally dealt with. 16 of the people who came forward used to work here either as actors or technicians. The Old Vic says Kevin Spacey's behaviour ranged from making people feel uncomfortable to sexually inappropriate conduct. But no one made an allegation of rape against him. The actor hasn't commented on these latest claims following a fortnight which has seen the meltdown of his career. On the 30th of October, actor Anthony Rapp said Spacey made a sexual advance towards him when he was 14 in the 1980s. Kevin Spacey said he had no memory of the incident, but apologised. The next day, the old Vic said it was deeply dismayed to hear the allegations. And days later, UK police announced they were investigating an alleged assault on a man from 2008. But some suggest today's findings highlight wider problems for those working in the theatre industry. There has been hitherto no mechanism for, for com a complaints procedure. Um, actors are freelance, they, they don't have, uh, they have contracts of course, but they don't have uh, established pro protocols for HR as you would in a normal job. So nobody knows how to report this stuff. The Old Vic says it will tackle harassment more effectively in the future. Those with experiences from the past are still urged to contact them.